video. My name is Beyonce and we're going to go over muscles starting with the basic bones. These are bones that every artist should know how and where they look and to help us today we're going to use Mr. Muscle. Give him a little French mustache looking very cute. Let's jump into it. It's very simple. The first one is the humerus. It's for arm and it's a ball and socket joint connected to the scapula which is behind the rib cage. And you're going to need to know is the clavicle for later. These are really important, the radius and the ulna. These are the bones in the forearm, and it's really important not to get them mixed up. So the radius will always go to the thumb, and when the palm is turned over, the radius is going to cross over the ulna. Pretty freaky, huh? The ulna bone also has the olecron, which is the elbow, so that's pretty fun. If you're like me, then you're probably thinking, ugh, more things to memorize. We have to remember our anime kings. The reason why we draw for these buff goddesses. Now that you're properly motivated, let's get back Before into it. Before we get started, origin equals start and insertion equals end. I'm going to use these words pretty interchangeably. So in the deltoid, the deltoid has three different points of origin, but what you should know is you can see it from the scapula in the back to the collarbone in the front. So the deltoid stops halfway down the humerus, so it stops halfway down the upper arm biceps aka the big gun so the biceps sit underneath the deltoid and it pretty much runs the length of the upper arm and it stops slightly when it gets to the lower arm as it inserts on the radius let's talk about the brachialis so the brachialis sits underneath the bicep brachii and you can see it in really buff individuals what you need to know is it starts at the lower half of the humerus so where the deltoid stops the brachialis will start and it inserts on the ulna but you're not going to really see this too much don't worry if you're confused right now. We're going to talk about the bicep, the pectoralis majors, and the deltoids relationship a little bit later. But for now, let's jump into the triceps. So the tricep has three different points of origin, but don't worry about this too much. Just know that it exists pretty much on the back of the arm. And it inserts on the olecron, aka the elbow. So it's really interesting and it's really easy to spot. It's just going to stop where it reaches the elbow. So something interesting about the tricep is the flat tendon. There's just this flat zone on your tricep. So you're going to see these two or three pretty large muscle bodies and just this flat area. The last muscle we're going to talk about for the upper arm is the ridge muscle and it's made up of two different muscles but let's not worry about the names because you really can't see the difference when you slap on some skin so just know that there are some few interesting qualities about the ridge muscle. Most notably the ridge muscle is pretty much wedged in between the tricep and the brachialis and it doesn't stay completely on the upper arm it will swing around down to the thumb area on the lower arm. I've got a nice little diagram to explain this to you. Alrighty, let's talk about the ridge muscles. So you can see right here on the back of that arm right there, it's pretty much wedged in between the brachialis and the tricep. I'm circling those right there. And it's going to swing around thumb side all the way to the thumb on the forearm or the lower arm. So this might be a little bit confusing on a diagram. Let's show on some random buff guides on the internet that I found. So you can see here, I'm just circling that ridge muscle. And it's really important to know because it's the most notable on the forearm. You can see this right here. It's going up in between that brachialis and that tricep back there. And it's going straight to the thumb. So let's do the other muscles now. Deltoid, very easy to spot. It's the most notable, to me at least. And it stops halfway down the humerus, so halfway down the forearm. So if we know the deltoid stops halfway down the forearm, we know exactly where the brachialis stops. And it's going to stop, start right where the deltoid stops, and it's just going to be a little circle boy right there. All right, let's jump into the bicep. The bicep is pretty noticeable to see, but it's nice to always check it out you can see it's just stopping right there and it's going to insert on its respective bone the radius last one is a tricep these aren't very good pictures of the tricep but you can see that it stops right near that elbow which is really fun to see because it's always nice to see your insertions all right we're done if you found yourself scratching your head don't worry so was i i had to watch muscle videos at least like four times before i got it so you might need to watch this video at least once or twice before they start sinking in into your brain hole so i didn't want to go over lower arm muscles today that would just be simply too much information but here's some diagrams of the lower muscles and you can find clearer explanations on my instagram Maybe I'll do a part two if you guys are really interested in the lower arm muscles. So I also did a back view so you guys can see how it looks on the back. You can see that deltoid from the shoulder girdle or that scapula area. You can also see the tricep. You can see that tendon, that flat zone more clearly. 
and those are just some of those lower arm muscles but you can see that ridge muscle peeking through leading to the thumb so roasting my favorite part where I get to look at your guys's old artwork and kind of roast them a little bit but before I get started I think it's always important to roast myself first because I had some terrible artwork in the beginning while there are very many 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 problem areas the biggest one pointing out to me is definitely the pectoralis muscles guys looking at my old artwork just really freaks me out but let's get to the good stuff here is my redraw and you can tell it just looks so much more informed and there's a reason because anatomy don't worry I'm gonna explain exactly what I did different and why it looks so much better all right so the reason why it looks messed up is definitely the pectoralis muscles what young needs to fail to understand is the pectoralis muscles inserts on that humerus that upper humerus area which means when the humerus raises up it's gonna take that pectoralis muscle with it so another thing that it's important to understand is the pectoralis muscle has origins on the collarbones, the sternum, which is right in the middle of that rib cage, and a few coastal cartilage ribs. But let's talk about the deltoid. The deltoid is pretty important because it sits pr uh, kind of close to the pectoralis, a little bit on top of it. It starts on the collarbone and it sits on top of that pectoralis a little bit, but it definitely sits on top of that bicep brachii. The bicep brachii sits underneath all those muscles so when you lift up the arm and you see the bicep going up it's gonna drag all those muscles with it so you can see all these problem areas here the pectoralis muscle should have been lifted up with that humerus over there so like you can see me drawing it right here you can see how I lifted up the pectoralis muscle you can't see the deltoid in this picture because the deltoid will be behind the arm in this view but definitely definitely it looks so much better when you take into account that the pectoralis muscle will be lifting up with the humerus all right let's get into the second image all right so this is a image sent by an artist in my classroom i'm very grateful so there are a few problem areas in the torso but we're focusing on the arms today so some of the proportions are a teensy bit off as you can see in some of the the biceps and especially the forearm muscles are a little teensy bit off so we're going to talk about that but let me show you my redraw this is my version of it and i try to pay special attention to a lot of the insertions and proportions just to make sure that they're all in the right place so let's talk about what i did differently Let's talk about some basic proportions. So your forearm stops right at that rib cage. To find your rib cage, usually you'll see this like curvy area, then a flat zone, and then your hips. That curvy like area is your rib cage. So your humerus should stop right there. This image looks wrong because the humerus in that upper arm just goes way past that rib cage. Big hands. All right, that's for the next lesson, but hands should be the same size as your face. Um, next one up is the forearm or just really long arms. Your hands should pretty much reach mid thigh. Like that's pretty standard for most people. All right, let's talk about the forearm muscles. I know we weren't gonna talk about this, but it's really important. So your forearm is never just this like equally symmetrical thing. You remember those ridge muscles we were talking about before? Those come back into play when you're looking at the palm view facing up. So instead of drawing a symmetrical thing, you're gonna remember that the ridge muscles are kind of a little bit higher up. Remember, they're, they're still in the upper arm a little bit. So you're gonna see way more of a bump on that thumb side where the ridge muscles are coming through with a little bit of the extensor's help. And on the right side near that pinky, you're gonna have your flexor muscles and they're a little bit lower because they start right at that kind of that inner elbow side. And they're gonna go to the pinky and they're gonna be a little bit lower. So you're gonna have this kind of like different bodies of muscles coming through. All right, I'm gonna get into a lot of technical stuff that every artist needs to know. So this is gonna start from basic to a little bit complicated. So let's jump into the simple stuff. So thumbs. So when your palm is facing up, your thumb's gonna face away from your body. Pretty simple, you might think, but trust me, I've done a lot of backwards hands in my day. So when your palm is facing down, it's gonna point into the direction of your body. So it's gonna point inward. Just some good stuff you need to know. All right, let's go into a little bit, a little bit more complicated, but still pretty basic. All right, so the radius, the radius is going to always, always, always be in the direction of the thumb, and the ulna is always going to be lined up with that pinky. So you might be asking yourself, Beyonce, why do I need to know this information? But because the ulna bone sticks out a little bit due to a gap, you're going to really see the ulna a lot more like coming through the skin than you're gonna see the radius. So you're gonna see a little bit more of a bump. If you found any of this information confusing or you just want to cheat sheet, I'm going to have one on my Instagram, Chromatic Days. So thank you so much for getting through this video and thank you for watching, guys. It was a lot of information. Sometimes you have to just watch this kind of stuff twice just to get it in your brain hole. And I'm always going to answer questions, so you guys just comment. This end card is usually where I just put my students' artwork. Since class hasn't really quite started yet, I'm just going to put some cool stuff that some of my art kids sent me. Oh my gosh, so cool. And their Instagrams. Go follow them, guys. And thank you for watching. Kisses. Bye.